10 good old green stars. Not too bad. Have you tried connecting and playing with friends? Just connect online or with other Nintendo Switch systems to try multiplayer with up to four players. To begin online or local wireless play, press R or SR. Uh, okay, so I'm not... That is new for 3D World back on the Wii U version. Because obviously, you know, this is the Switch version. Um, the Wii U version basically didn't have online co-op, but this one does. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up and down on the left analog stick, or I assume the right analog stick. Jump by pressing B or the bottom button. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone is working together. Are you ready? Then let's get going. We got some Super Mario 64 ride. I think it's like the ride theme. I forget what it's like officially called, but yeah. We got we got some green stars. We got some stuff to collect. I think we actually have to do this stage twice. Uh, but that will be no biggie. Let's take this little secret Roy right here. Alright. What is up, my dudes? I don't even know what these enemies are called, to be honest. They do look kind of silly, though. Yeah, this is a stage where you don't have to worry about what character you're really playing as, because this is pretty much what the stage consists of. Just basically, you know, just ride through with Plessy and hope you collect everything along the way. I mean, you won't be able to on your first attempt. The stamp is actually on the separate path. So that is something you will have to kind of uh, make note of. Oh, I, we overshot the jump. Well, we're going to have to replay through it. No biggie, though. No biggie. I don't know if we'll cut, though. I mean, I feel like it's not too bad with regards to uh, where, essentially, it is. But if we mess up again, I think we'll cut. And then uh, we'll just basically get the whatever it is we miss. Hopefully, we don't miss anything, but... Yeah. Two old green stars. Don't worry, stage. We're coming back. Nice. Going back in again. Let's go, indeed. Alright, here we go. I'm coming for you, last collectibles. You aren't escaping my sights. Uh, let's take let's take the upper path. Why not? Let's show this off. Got this red hoop here. Basically, collect all right eight red coins. I know how to speak. I promise. And there you go. Get a little one up. So let's get the one up up here too. Why not? I'll be greedy. I'll go for more one ups. So yes, in order to get the stamp for this level, you got to take it this way. Hopefully you don't bump into these clowns along the way and get completely overshot, but here it is. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. Alright, Plessy. Make it so we can get the green star today, my guy. I believe in you. Oh, dude, I'm such a... Freaking god, let's go. Let's go. We got everything. Heck yeah. I'm out of here. Let's mosey on out of here. And there we go. Yeah, I think Peach can honestly be really helpful for getting to the top of the flagpole because of that little glide she does at the end. So it's not too bad to use her if you're struggling to get to the top of any particular flagpole. But there we go. You got everything for the stage. Ooh, we can gamble. All right. 
I say why not? Let's try our luck. No. There we go. Hit the blocks and make the pictures line up. You could win up to 777 coins. You'll get an extra life for every 100 coins you collect. Okay, so it's a boomerang. Hey, and just like that. Sorry about the, uh, the silence there for a brief moment. I was trying to uh, make sure I was lining up the pictures correctly. But there we go. Eight, eight ups, dude. Oh my god. Let's do it. That's pretty good right there. Cannot complain. All right, we've got ourselves the next level. Switch Scramble Circus. Oops, I'm playing speech again, but you know what? That's okay. We'll be sure to show off Toad soon. I assure you. I do like the aesthetics of these levels. I believe this is new, entirely new for 3D World. And it's, uh, it's pretty nice, all things considered. The music's very cheerful. The color palette's really nice. Just all around a really pleasing level to play and look at. Here we go. The next pathway has been unlocked. We're not gonna take that obvious exit. We wanna, we wanna check the stage out. Alright, our first checkpoint flag. Let's go. And another cool little addition to this level is, I'm not sure if you could tell by the music, but the further you progress along the level, the music will actually uh, reflect your progression in a way, and I think that's kind of sick. It's another way to show uh, the player that you're making decent progress. Rather than just being like, oh hey, you, you got to this point. Cool. Right, let's see if we can grab these little red coins here. And we sure did. We got ourselves a fire flower. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Peach looks all too bad in uh, her fire flower outfit. Looks pretty cool. Oh dear. Well, at least we found the green star. That's all that matters to me. All right, let's get uh, let's get on up here. Ooh, we got some Kamek's. Well, so much for having a Kamek. <laughs> I didn't think the Fire Flyer would hit him. Now, another thing you can do, if you wish, you can actually use your gyroscope, or the gyro aiming, and actually touch all the platforms, if you so wish. It's a little thing you can do. It's really, I think it's really neat. We're definitely gonna need to use it for later levels, and, uh, I forget how to recenter it. Okay, so recenter it, it's uh, it's like the left bumper button. For those that are familiar with uh, the Xbox One controller layout, let's go ahead and uh, hit all these good old blocks. Did we? Okay, we didn't miss the stamp, thankfully. Very nice. Let's get a running start here. And there we go. Ooh, that was in sync with the music. I was actually really cool. I just love all the little details. That's really nice. I do like this, these types of levels. And we got the bell stamp. Not bad at all. Okay. So now for a different type of level. Um, We've got Captain... <laughs> I know English. Captain Toad goes forth. These are kind of puzzle levels where you play as, well, the man in question, Captain Toad, and basically runs around and collecting green stars. The unique thing about these levels is that, well, for one, it's kind of presented like the, from this perspective here, Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera with the right stick, or the, whatever that is, I guess pushing down on the thumbstick, or the right button to see the course from another angle. 
Just so you know, Captain Toad can't jump. Keep that in mind. Yeah, because of all the heavy gear he's got on, he can't jump. And he never thinks to take it off for whatever reason. And oddly enough, the Switch version allows you, if you're playing with others, to play as other Captain Toads. Do keep in mind, everyone can take hold of the camera. And boy, can it get very, very disorienting if you and your friends decide, you know what, let's just, let's just fuck each other all up. But these aren't too bad, and I mean, hey, you know what's interesting is that if you like these type of levels, or if you like this type of gameplay, they actually made an entire game based off of this whole mechanic or design. But yeah, not too bad. First level for Captain Toad, doing this kind of schnaz. It's pretty, pretty simple. And there we go. Got all our green stars. Bye, Toad. Or Captain Toad, I should say. You can use the right stick to control the camera in single player mode on other courses too. Give it a try. You can. I just don't bother with it, honestly, because of the perspective in which the player is given. Uh, let's check out this little place right here. No, oh, it's another Toad House. Let's hit the small box. what I tell ya? I think I'll go for the cat outfit just because I like having a cat outfit uh, on me always. It's really nice when you need to grab those out of reach green stars. Because some do require that you have the cat outfit. So it's in your best interest to make sure that uh, you kind of have one with you always. If you can, anyways. But here we go. We've got Bowser's Highway Showdown. We're going to play as Toad. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, Toad is the fastest character out of the whole group. But his jumps leave a lot to be desired. But yeah, he can he can definitely move quick on his feet, though. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Although his control is pretty rock solid. I mean, granted, everyone's control is pretty good. Like across the board, maybe Luigi's isn't so hot, but... Hey, that's just how it be sometimes. Got a little bit of extra time there. Got 10 seconds. I don't know how much I'd say that kind of aids you here, but... Whatevs. Let's see if we can get this. Ooh, we did. Oh, I was gonna... Ooh, ooh that, was, that was really good. <laughs> Not bad at all. All right, let's hit this up. All right, and that's another green star to add to the books. Can we ground pound this? Oh, we sure can. I do like the shimmering effect on the water there. It actually looks really nice. Okay. Oh, there are thwomps. Maybe let's not hurt us. It's not really feeling the idea of getting whacked by us. Does that work? Sure didn't. Ooh, I don't want to get hurt, though. Ooh. I'll go ahead and take that. For our wonderful, wonderful pleasure there. And, oh. Okay. Made a little oopsie. Let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna save the cat power up. I don't wanna. I don't wanna completely waste it, cause uh, the big man in question is about to show up here. Good old Bowser. What's going on, buddy? All right. So for this fight, it's pretty straightforward. He'll throw those kicking soccer bombs at you, and uh, you just kick him right back in his car. This does go on for a little bit, but it uh, he'll definitely try to shake things up along the fight, so no worries there. Yeah, you get him, Toad. You put Bowser in his place. Alright, so far so good. 
getting a little upsetty there, aren't you, Bowser? Sucks to suck, doesn't it, bud? So yeah, he'll start firing out uh, little fireballs here. They'll try to mess up your positioning, but... You know, just give yourself some distance between you and Bowser. You'll be fine. Nope, that won't do it. Got another hit in. Alright. Yeah, you can see Toe can very much move on a dime, though. Not bad, all things considered. Ooh, I almost just walked right off the goddamn stage there. <laughs> Thank God for that. Come on, Bowser. Hit me up. There we go. And that's it. See you later, Bowser. Beautiful. I'm surprised you can skip that. Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't know if you can do that on the Wii U. But uh, you can skip certain scenes and stuff like that, which I think is pretty neat. What's up, Sprixie? Coming to save you, lass. I think I'm gonna actually just just for safety, I'm gonna equip the cat power up just just so that way we don't have anything embarrassing happen with regards to uh, trying to get to the top of the flagpole. So there we go. And that's it. World 1 is done.